marriage of feelings and 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 logic and so I, I i've been struggling to kind of work through that and and in my opinion uh i i guess where i've ended up landing is that okay i am just going to and this makes sense um i'm i think i'm just going to completely ignore the past eight years uh because every game does exist independently of itself and like i said i think with this new offense and with Brady and Ensminger's game plan abilities and in-game adjustments. Remember, it's not just game planning that's gotten LSU into trouble in this series. It's been an inability to adjust and exploit whatever the defense is giving you. And when you look at what Auburn did, coming with a look that nobody would ever seen on film before, and how LSU reacted to that and found offensive success within that, that gives me great hope for this year. That is really where they are so different this year, and that's why... I feel confident about this game. So I'm ignoring the past from here on out. I'm not talking about last year's game. I'm not talking about the game two years ago. There is one game that matters, and it is this Saturday's game. And obviously, look, Vegas has not favored by six. Okay, and, Vegas knows what they're doing. But that's still essentially just a coin flip game. And I think when you look at the – when you use last year's game at um, in Baton Rouge as a reference – it does give you an idea of just how different the 2019 matchup is from the last decade, really. Yeah. I mean, when you look at what Burrow has done from last year's matchup to this one, he was point. a 58% passer at this point last season, averaging 7.6 yards per attempt. Right now, he's at 79% at a completion rate, averaging 10.8 yards per attempt. I mean, this is just a totally different animal that Nick Saban and Alabama are dealing with and preparing for LSU. Will they, pre will they be prepared? Obviously, they will be. I mean, this is the type of stuff that we've always talked about. The difference between Alabama is that they've had a shadow staff, some type of analyst, looking at LSU throughout the Georgia Southern film all the way up to this point. So as, as prepared as Kevin Steele and the Auburn defense were yeah. um, the last time LSU was out, I expect the same type of scenario um, from this Alabama defensive unit, how do you believe that you can change something to get? Because look, that 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 defense at Steel threw at LSU obviously surprised the staff and yeah. the offense. Do you expect something like that exotic from from Saban? Um, I the, so the only reason that I think they'd have to stray away from exoticism, uh, that's not a word, Ding. is um is is I think it's tough when you have two true freshman linebackers starting. It's going to be tough to install. A whole new system. Also, remember, as far as the three one seven specifically, um, it was Auburn's defensive line that allows them to do that, right? Like, and and I don't think I think Alabama has a very good pass rush. I think they have a stronger defense, and they're probably getting credit for, but they do not have the full threat of the four people across the front like Auburn had. They don't have multiple first rounders, at least not right now, on that defensive line. So. Uh, with that in mind, yeah, they can't come out there and play like a three-one-seven. But obviously, Nick Saban is going to, and and he is the master. And this kind of goes in the next point I want to talk about. But obviously, Nick Saban's going to try to throw something at LSU they haven't seen before, try to concoct some way of uh, stopping what he's seen from Joe Brady on film. And, and that is my question. I wonder what Joe Brady's perspective is going into this game because the majority of the LSU staff's been there for a long time. Um, us obviously covering the game. We've talked about this game every year for a long time. And I think all of us are so deep in the forest that we maybe struggle to see the trees a bit, right? Brady's coming with a completely fresh perspective. He, he's out here as like the young upstart 30 year old who's now going toe to toe with the Crimson Emperor himself, right? Like with, with, with the most legendary coach and his legendary defensive acumen in college football history. And so I wonder what his perspective is. Is he intimidated? Um, does he see weakness in that defense? Like, does he think, like, because we have come to, this is fans and I think people covering the game, you come to expect Alabama's defenses to dominate LSU's offense. That's how it's been except for the Matt Canada year. And so does Joe Brady, like, is he like, wait, wait, wait. Because if he's removed from the very context that caused me so much struggles in evaluating this game, does he just look at this like, I mean, yeah, they're good, but like this is definitely a team that else you can go out there and we'll roll them. I, I would, and I don't, I don't have any knowledge on this, but I, I would think yes, because he doesn't carry in the, the last decade of feeling of this game like you talk about, right? And, and he's looking yeah. at it in a totally different prism. 
I mean, from from the the standpoint of when you just look at LSU's personnel offensively, and you look at Alabama's defensive personnel, the, LSU should win that battle. They 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 have the advantage. LSU yeah. side has the advantage in the same sense that I look at Alabama's offensive sets and look at LSU's defensive personnel, and I say to myself, this is going to be a pro football shootout of two great quarterbacks yeah. with two elite receiving cores where it could be the last person, the last team with the ball could be. might win. Could be. It could be. And so, and so if that's the case, then we go back to a question that I tried to explore a lot last week and continue to explore, try to see if I land somewhere concrete. But, like, who has the better defense, right? If both offenses are seemingly looking so unstoppable and, and so then every single stop takes on greater importance. Like, think back to the Florida game. Do you remember how impactful – that holding penalty that led to a stop was when they were just going back and forth, the back and forth. Yeah, yeah, and 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 to be fair, um, that stop completely ended up changing the complexion of the game. Like after that stop, LSU was they took over, and and that's where they ended up separating and winning that game. And so, which defense is better suited to getting that one stop? And I I mean I think I like LSU there. I think that LSU is stronger on the corners uh, than is Alabama. I'm not saying those guys are going to be perfect, but maybe LSU has the better chance to come up with those one or two stops. 